Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chappelle Rick and today I'm bringing you my player owned ports guide to get you your completionist cape requirements out of the way for completing a trio mission storyline and getting the reef walker cape unlocked this guide will be focusing on everything you need to know from upgrade orders the bare basics of course and some tips and tricks that will definitely definitely help you out making this grind a lot more bearable but it will still take you months to complete so if you haven't started this yet and you're considering for going for completionist cape start this right now today I know it sucks, you need to do it every single day, and even when you start, you need to do it multiple times a day, but when you have it out of the way and you have done it, it will probably feel great. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm nearly done, but it's just a very, 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 very bad requirement, but just start as soon as you can, that's what I'm trying to say. But if you're going to enjoy this video, consider giving it a like, comment as well if you have any tips, and if you want to see any other guides related to Completion Escape, or just in general, subscribe if you're new, we're still on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and without further ado, Let's get actually into the video. So first things first, as I said, I will be going over the bare basics as well. If you already know this, just skip ahead using the timestamps down below to get to the part that you need. For example, the upgrade order or the tips and tricks that I have for you to make this grind a little bit more bearable. So first things first, I want to go over the buttons that you see in my top left, I guess. I know it's not like properly top left. It's like center left or whatever, but... First things first, you have your resources. Here you can see everything you've collected during your port. The top one are to upgrade everything and the bottom ones are to make certain items. As I said, I will not be going over the items that you're going to be making uh, because you can make sea singers, you can make tattoo, you can make all, all these gear things that are pretty decent for Iron Man. But this is just going to focus on getting that completion requirement. So I'm not going to go over it. But I think with the knowledge I'm giving you in this video, you should be able to figure out the rest for yourself. At least I hope so. So let's get over the buttons that you see here on top. So first things first, here are your voyages. These are the missions you're going to be sending away. You have standard voyages, which will get you the um, resources, which I'll be showing you in a moment. Don't worry. And you have your special voyages, which are the ones that are story missions, the scroll missions for the Reefwalker Cape and just extra supply missions, I guess, um, whatever you want to call them. Next up, your crew roster. This button you will use a little bit less because you can just access your crew roster via your voyage list, which that's just the way I always do it. Um, next up, shipyard. Same thing as the crew roster. You'll probably only access it through your voyages, which I will be showing you as well. Here are your upgrade buildings. We well, upgrade your buildings in this one, if you didn't guess. But as I said, I'll be giving you a quick upgrade order for that as well. Further on in this video. Next up, your port management. This is very important because you can go back into regions to get older supplies or like lower tier supplies because the game moves you on automatically and sometimes you haven't upgraded everything you need to upgrade before moving on to the next region, which I always highly recommend doing. Upgrade everything first, then move on to the next region so you do not have to backtrack. And lastly, your map. This is pretty much to see where you are in the map. One thing I want to be showing you um, though is this is the area that you want to be in. So as you can see, I am currently in the scythe. The scythe, or sorry, the bowl, my bad. The bowl is where you want to be in. This is where you get your trio missions um, that you need for your completion requirement. This is the furthest you need to go. Obviously, I'm going to be unlocking this next zone just by doing this, and I want to complete everything in player own ports for trim completion escape, which is pretty much complete player own ports. Upgrade everything, get all the missions done, which sucks, but I'm just going to do it anyway because I don't want to hate myself. I ever consider going for trim completion escape, but this is the area you want to be in. You want to be in the bowl. If you're there, you pretty much made it as well. So let's actually get into the most important tab. And as I said, I will be going over the crew roster and the voyage shipyard um, list as well through the voyage tab because this is just where you want to find everything and see everything. So a lot of information on the screen right now, but I'll be going over everything you need to know. So first things first, on the top, you have your standard voyages, as I said, where you have supply missions and your special voyages, which right now I do have a supply mission because I do not have a story mission. I will flash a picture on screen what a story mission looks like right now. This is a trio mission, the ones that you want to be aiming for, but the difference with a normal one is you will just see one face and then the same icon for the rewards, which pretty much means story progression. You also have clue missions that look like this. Um, I'll also put it on screen right now, at least if I don't forget, but I should not. Um, this will pretty much give you clues to your next mission. So pretty much what you want to focus and how you want to do it is do your story missions, then do your clue missions. And lastly, you want to do your scroll missions. Your scroll missions look like this. This will be for your reef walker cape. So 
Um, you only have to do four technically. I will be showing you something that is very, very useful when it comes to your um, scroll missions in the tips and tricks section of this video. Because you literally only have to do four successful scroll missions to get this requirement out of the way. So there might be something that um, if that's the only requirement you have to do, you're lucky. It's very easy to get it out of the way, but probably not. So I hate to break it to you, but let's actually get into these stats and all the buttons that um, you see here on screen. So I'll be sh using this one as an example. I, I already recorded this and then realized my microphone was not off. So one ship is already gone. So I have two more attempts to... Um, to get this right also i do want to clarify one thing before i get comments about this this method worked for me the best way to do it like no effort less stressful is just doing it one stat at a time so for example you see that there's only morale here so it's an only morale mission i have three ships i could get a fourth one but i only have three i have one for morale one for combat one for seafaring so i only need to find the missions click send voyage and then i'm done because honestly, I want to make this so like small brain as possible, like so little effort. Because as you can see here, when I go to standard voyages, you have missions with um, multiple stats as well. And your success rate will just be a lot lower when you try to balance this out. Because it is just very difficult to get 100% success rate with two stats going. When with one stat, as you can see, it's a lot easier when I click on edit ship in a moment. So... That is what I would recommend. I only have three ships. I can get a fourth one. If you want to get a fourth one, go ahead. You can get that in your upgrade building. So we'll be going over that in a moment as well. But that is just the method that worked for me. And that is just how I went about it. Everyone, each to their own. But as I said, that's to me. So please don't comment, okay? <laughs> about that, at least. Um, one thing that you want to do next, when you pick your mission that you want to complete. So I want to complete this one. You want to click on edit ship. So now you see your ship. You see all these things and you see the stats at the bottom. So I will go to my morale ship. Um, you see your like forehead thing, figurehead thing. Sorry, it's not your forehead thing. It's not Twitch, bro. Then you have your relics. Then you have the whole of glory. And then you have the rudder. So going from front to back, the front only has a upgrade so like the figurehead and a cannon for morale and combat there's nothing related to seafaring on the front so this is my morale ship obviously i want to have the inspiring figurehead which you can see down there has a morale stat of 800 compared to the cannon that has a morale stat of zero um pretty much you want to get your stats relating to whatever mission you have so in this case morale as high as possible here you have your relics your riggings and your cannons this is probably the biggest upgrade you can do on your ship and it's the most important thing in your upgrade order which I'll be going over in a little moment uh, when I explain every little thing on the ship to you. So Eastern Relics, your Dragon Skin Rigging, your Cannon etc. Same thing, just get the stat that fits your uh, ship. So in my case Morale. Same goes with the Glory Hole, War Hole or Storm Rider Hole. In my case the Hole of Glory is my Morale Hot so I'll just use this one. Um, and lastly at the back this is your rudder which is pretty much the speed of your ship this is not really important until you get into the later areas pretty much what you want to do is you want to upgrade that first on your ship as soon as your missions will take more than like 14 hours to complete or 12 hours to complete listen i want to do two voyages a day so one in the morning and one in the evening so it's pretty much always like two uh, at all times when you start out you'll be doing five or six a day because the voyages only will last half an hour so as you see my ship is complete when it comes to um, everything with morale so that's just everything i need on this and i could send it away because obviously it's 100 percent but i want to be showing you the crew as well but before i'll be showing you the crew i want to give you the upgrade order on the ship so first things first you always want to be upgrading your relics riggings and cannons because they are two spots and they will usually give you the biggest upgrade. Next up, I would recommend upgrading your hull because that also gives a very big upgrade. And the hull also gives some other stats, which you usually don't need. But it does generally really help out just in general to have some extra stats as well. In case you have to do um, a combi mission, which in case of story missions, you sometimes just have to do. Um, then I would lastly um, recommend you doing the figurehead. As I said, the hole will always be your last one until you get to the areas where you will have to um, upgrade it first to be able to do two story missions or two missions in general a day. That's my upgrade order. What helped for me, first things, do the, the double ones, then do the hole, then do the front, and then do the back. So 
Let's get into the edit crew. As I said, this is also the second button as well. And you see all these characters. Just like the um, just the ship things, every character has a stat. So as I said, this is my morale ship with my morale captain. He has the highest morale stat out of all my captains right now. I have a captain for each ship. You level them up by just using them and um, having successful voyages. You will level them up and the stats will increase. So... Pretty much just get everything sorted get everything as high as possible so in this case my morale ship as you see these have seafaring um, these have combat and pretty much just get the stats as high as possible it's very simple in that case and when you have the highest success rate that you can get because especially when you start out you won't be able to get 100 percent all the time so if you get like 76 percent or the highest you can get just send it away you want to upgrade your crew usually after you've upgraded your ship until you get to the bowl where I would recommend upgrading um, your rigging or your ro roll or whatever the, the back part is where you increase your speed. Then upgrade your crew and then upgrade your ship because the price of the ship uh, will be so high that it will become just more difficult. So when you get to the bowl, your upgrade order will be the back of your ship to increase speed, then your crew and then your ship, and then just your ship in a regular order. So it's everything you need to know about sending away messages, voyages, and everything. So next thing, we have another upgrade order that I want to be showing you, which is the buildings, which I'm going to go over a little bit more quickly because it is less, um, it's less more complicated. First things first, you want to upgrade your lodgings. This will allow you to get better crew more quickly. And obviously better crew means higher stats, which means higher success rates. It means easier voyages to do. So get your lodgings upgraded first. You don't need to do the workshop because that is only if you want to make things. This is really good for Iron Man. But to get your completion requirement, you do not need to upgrade your workshop and don't need to waste supplies on doing so. But if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. One thing though, however, when you start out, you want to focus your office. Your office is probably the thing that you want to do first and get your three ships unlocked as quick as possible because you have three different stats and you can have three different ships with like full on stats um, done and sorted. You can get a fourth one as well. I don't like doing it. I don't care for it, but you can get a fourth one, but that is totally up to you. Might be more efficient, but I don't care because I don't play this game efficiently. It is the most lazy way to do this um, content because this content just freaking sucks. Uh, but when you have your three ships, the upgrade order will be lodgings and then your bar. And then lastly, you want to upgrade your ship right or no, sorry, not your ship right, your warehouse, because you will get a percentage increase into um, the supplies that you need. Your bar, by the way, sorry that I forgot to mention, is to get better captains. And lastly, you want to upgrade your ship right as well, because this will actually um, just increase your stats by 3%. So that's always useful to do as well. But you can only do this later on when you're with the building. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about upgrade building order. But now for the tips and tricks on getting your completionist requirements done. Because honestly, there are two tips that I can give you. And to start with the Reef Walker Cape first, because the Reef Walker Cape... It's probably the easiest to get. So if you go to your port management tab, you see these um, supplies. As I said, you can just click on any of the supplies. Then your missions will just refer to like the lower missions and you can go back in time. But as I said, I just recommend if you've done everything, all the upgrades to bamboo, go to the next one, next one, next one, etc, etc, etc. So I'm going to click on the arrow to the right. And here you see scroll mission. So as you can see, I already have the Reef Walker escape requirement done. I have four out of four missions done. But how to easily just complete this is you just click on one of the um, on the scrolls. So in this case, let's pretend this is the Reef Walker Cape and not the Eastern Soups one. Um, if you just click on it, you can focus it. So if I click on select, it is now focused with the highlight area about it. So every time I get a scroll mission, I will always be getting, well in this case, an Eastern Soups mission. So in, in theory, I only have to do four successful scroll missions. To get, well, the Reef Walker Cape, obviously, but in my case now, the Eastern Soups one. So, that makes it so much easier to complete. So, you only have to do four successful scroll missions if you just focus the Reef Walker Cape. I can't focus it anymore because I already have it. But that's pretty much how you want to go about it with the Reef Walker Cape and with the um, this requirement, pretty much. So, lastly, I want to give you some advice on... Getting your trio missions done as quickly as possible. There are two things that I can tell you that will help. So first things first, there's one that is an upgrade bar order. So a trio mission is always set in a specific trio. So for example, 
the Whaler, Oculist, and Assassin. Um, on top of my head, those are the three that are a trio mission. I will put a link to the trio missions in the description down below so you can see which one you want to focus and with the stats. So what you want to do is you want to buy, build three different icons to have a higher chance of attracting the missions you want. So I have one build for the Oculist. I have one build for the, I think it's Assassin, isn't it? Yes, Assassin. And I have one build for the Whaler. So I have a higher chance of getting this. This doesn't really help you until the last area because if I'm going to be completely honest... Um, if you're going to do everything anyway to like upgrade, you will probably have done all the story missions before you even move on to the next area. But when you're in the last area and you want to do like your final sprint, it is very nice to have this because you have a higher chance of actually getting the right correct missions that um, you need for your uh, trio mission completion. And lastly, another tip that I can give you, this also kind of only applies of where you are when you're at the um, end of your story mission that only a trio story mission is what you need to do is you can add rerolls by ports enhancers which you can buy in the dungeoneering extra shops with the consumer balls with the guy from the um curse to blackstone quest in demonheim it's not the main dungeoneering shop but the one next to him and he has a consumables tab where you can buy ports enhancers which allows you to get rerolls on voyages so you can just re-roll your story missions which you can usually not do otherwise this will help you speed up the last little bit if you just want to make that final push, for example, when it's your final requirement. But in general, it should not be needed. If you just do this right now as you're starting before you even go for completion escape, you hopefully have this done by the time you got everything else for completionist sorted. But that's everything you need to know on completionist and everything you need to know to get your porch requirement out of the way. It's probably the worst requirement. But when you've done it, you've pretty much gotten your completion escape in the pocket because in my opinion, all the other grinds are actual grinds and you can just grind them out. You can just put time into it and get it sorted. So I hope you're going to enjoy this video. I really hope you did. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if it was helpful. Let, as I said, if you have anything else you want me to make a guide on, or you want any tips or trips or whatever on anything, just let me know. And um, subscribe if you're new. As I said, still on the road to 1,000 subscribers. My name is Falric, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Good.